Hi everyone and welcome. I'm really glad you could join me. I'm voicing over this because the original recording wasn't fit for YouTube. I was very depressed and upset. And I'm going to tell you why, but in a much more calm voice than I did initially. I was real excited about making the soap, but I made it when I was upset. And I calculated my liquids wrong. I didn't make any mistakes with the lye or anything like that. It was just that because of errors that I made, because I was upset, it did set up a little fast, so it didn't work the way I wanted it to. It started out working and then it thickened and so, but it kind of fit the state of mind I was in. And that's why I call it abyss. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a little story about something that happened. And this is very difficult for me to talk about because I'm still a little upset by it, but I have found peace. Let me explain. Earlier this week, someone had, a politician, had met me, I was out with the goats, and they drove by and stopped the car and asked if they could speak to me. And it just so happened, I could. <laughs> so I took a few minutes, chatted with them. Uh, they told me what they were planning to do here in the county. This is a local politician. And because I live way out in the county, we need good politicians to help with things like road maintenance and getting people to keep their cows in their fences so cars don't hit them and hurt people and things like that. They are a very important part uh, of the community here. This person was running for a commissioner position. And it was a woman and her husband. And I really enjoyed speaking to both of them. And they asked if they could put up a political sign, uh, you know, a vote for... And I said, yes, of course, no problem. I've never in all the years I've lived here done this. Um, no one's asked. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm not big on advertising my political views, uh, either on YouTube or in life. Um, oh, I have a few T-shirts that might be a little, uh, perhaps raise a few eyebrows. But other than that... I'm fairly quiet. When I was younger, I had a very loud political voice, but those years have passed living out here in the country. I'm getting off in a tangent here. So anyway, I put this sign up, or allowed them to put the sign up, excuse me, and that was the last I thought of it. There, these, there are signs all over the county for various different people. I went on about my day in life, and all was well. And then I got a call from a property owner that's about a mile and a half from me, but they drive by my place uh, on their way to their home. And they gave me a call and said, you need to go out and look at your barn. Well, my barn faces the county road that my property is on. So of course I thought, oh, I thought maybe, I didn't know what to think because he wouldn't tell me. They wouldn't uh, share with me what exactly there was just said, you just need to go look. I said, okay. So I laid down the phone and I went out. On the backside of my barn that faces the county road, someone had painted, I can't repeat all the words because they're very foul, um, but basically they said die to me and used a homophobic word to describe me. They had pulled up the political sign, laid it on the ground, and stomped it. It was not broken, but it was badly bent up and wrinkled. The metal frame was bent, and the sign looked like they had put something on it, something disgusting. So we'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to go any further with it. Nonetheless, this concerned me greatly that someone came onto my property, onto fenced land, and a locked gate. So they either climb the gate or climb the fence. Well, I do know of one particular person who has done that before, but they were looking for their dog who had dug under my fence. This was years ago. And they climbed over my gate. And another time they showed up at my front door 
they had climbed over, once again climbed over the gate, but came to my front door to ask me if I had received a package that they had got. This person has always been rather derogatory to me, and when my partner was alive, derogatory toward him as well. Uh, doesn't approve of that lifestyle, even though I have no lifestyle anymore. I'm widowed uh, and a widower, as it were, and I have no other <laughs> romantic interests. I've gone beyond that, at least. Th that's how I feel about it. So it's just me, uh, and I have a real good reputation here in this county and in the community, among most. Uh, but the people do have their own views, but they keep them to them themselves. So I did call the sheriff's department because this was a threat to my life. It said die. Is that a threat or is that just a wish? I don't know. But it was enough for me to contact the sheriff. Several people came here, uh, interviewed me, did talk to someone else, uh, Two different people, actually, who they thought might be responsible. Uh, an arrest was made, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet. Um, but it was a very shocking kind of experience. And I it takes a lot to shock me. It truly does. I've seen a lot of things in my life. In my young life, I saw things that would terrify most people. And... Those things have made me a stronger individual, I believe. And as I've said in other videos, I do have a bit of a depressive personality, but I try, I work very hard to be positive and upbeat. And this has not put me in a depressed mood. I can say that I, it was depressing, you know, having this happen, but it hasn't changed who I am. I'm not in some deep, dark place, despite the name of this soap, Abyss. I believe that an abyss can be the, and I looked it up in Webster Dictionary to be sure, it's not only a dark, deep place in the ocean or a deep, dark place in hell or a deep, dark place in the heart. It can be a deep, dark place between two people, a gulf, as you may, uh, another phrase you could use, a space between two people that seems almost insurmountable, abyss. And in this particular instance, this person will never like me because they despise what I am, which is just a, a gay old man. <laughs> I'm harmless to anyone. Um, and as I stated, I have a good reputation here. But they basically stated that I am poison to the community, that people like me um, make the morals of the entire county go down. I'm not sure where that comes from. And they believe that based on who I have loved in the past. Um, I, and me having this conversation with you all, I know is perhaps not something you want to hear. And you can certainly turn off this video at any time. Matter of fact, I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning of the video. I, uh, I just found this very upsetting based on who I am, that someone could hate me and want me dead just because we love differently, not because our politics, although it seems that was part of it, right? I think it perhaps they're anger toward a different political party kind of played into their anger with someone with a different way of thinking as well, and they kind of just piled up. So what do I have to say about all of this? You don't have to love your neighbor. You don't have to hug your neighbor. But don't threaten your neighbor. If you disagree on something, that's okay to disagree. You don't have to agree on everything. I love Brussels sprouts. A lot of people don't. I actually liked liver when I was younger. I don't eat it anymore, but I used to love eating liver, and I know most people don't, right? A lot of people like asparagus. I don't like asparagus. I have brown eyes. Some people have blue or green eyes or hazel eyes or almond-shaped eyes or 
They may have larger lips than mine. They may have thinner lips than mine. They may have paler skin. They may have much darker skin. There are so many variations in who we all are. To pick out one aspect and to hate someone for that makes no sense to me. And I'm very sorry. I know I've talked about this type of thing many times before, and I suppose it's because it's still happening, right? There are still... Look at what's happening at the uprisings in this country. No matter how you feel about specific organizations, think about where it comes from, what it's based on initially. People that feel that they are treated unfairly just based on the color of their skin. There are people who are murdered because they love differently, because they're a different gender than someone else. Look at what women have gone through in this country almost since the beginning of time. Not just in this country, but on the planet. Anyway, I, I am sorry that I made this into this kind of a video, um, or at least the audio portion of it. I had a lot of... No, I didn't. I didn't have any fun making this soap because of the state of mind I was in, so I'm not going to lie to you. I was angry, and this is the result. But I actually... I'm kind of happy with this soap. It'll be a reminder to me of a moment in time, at least as long as it lasts. The video will last forever, right? <laughs> but it'll always will remind me of that horrible thing that happened, but also how I bridged that gulf with, within myself. I have self-acceptance, which I didn't always have, but I like who I am. And there are parts of me that I am working on and would like to improve upon. Absolutely. I'm not a perfect person, but I certainly want to be a much better person. And I try every day. And I know that many of you do the same. Please don't let other people define you. No matter what they say, you must find within yourself that love, that acceptance of yourself. Um, I won't go on about this because, well, I'm, I'm not a great orator. I don't have all the right words to say in regard to this. I just wanted to share with you what had happened. Um, and maybe if in some way it helps you, I don't know how, that's great. Uh, but I hope you have a good day. I really enjoy you being here. I hope you'll come back. I promise in the next video, it will be upbeat and happy. I promise. I'm going to work really hard at making it that. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful day, and I look forward to seeing you back soon. Goodbye.